Hey guys, it's Rufus. My first tip is on clutch situations. When the time is running out and you're in a 1v1, you need to know when to go for the plant or the kill. In order to plant, it takes 7 seconds, and so as long as you have 8 seconds or more, you can go for the plant. If you start planting with 8 seconds left and somebody starts pushing you before you plant, you should have 2-3 to three seconds to react and shoot back. Otherwise, you will need to hunt the final player if you have less than 8 seconds. The only time you would be able to plant with this little time was if the defender was super far away. And it does happen, but just not that often. Roam clearing is also another topic that a lot of people suck at. As soon as you locate a roamer, you should be thinking and communicating with your teammates. Where are they and what are they doing? How can you clear this roamer and how can we prevent them from rotating away? But how can you know where to enter and how to cut off these roamers? Well, it's actually pretty easy. If we were to roam clear the top floor of Clubhouse, we would oftentimes have to deal with a roamer or two. If this roamer was in cache, here's how we could react. We will want to open the CCTV wall so that we can prevent any defenders from playing in CCTV. This would allow us to place someone on highway, and they could use the con window in order to prevent any roamers from rooting through here or from dropping this hatch. In addition, we could have somebody enter garage and they would help us push into cache. The other two people would likely be on drone, but they could cut off rotations and open walls if need be. However, with this positioning, the roamer and cash would be unable to rotate away and we could easily push them. This next tip is regarding communication. Most players are either too quiet or they just don't say enough of the right words. And a lot of the time, people only call out what they see and hear. However, that is not always enough. Sometimes, you need to ask your teammates for help. For example, if you're getting pushed, you could ask a teammate to rotate to some position. Things like this will help you become a better player, and when you ask people for help, you'll find yourself succeeding a lot more often. So, if a situation happens where, say, you notice an area isn't being covered, you need to call that out and ask a teammate to either rotate there or a teammate to rotate to help you out if that's what you need. Moving on, as a roamer, you should always be prioritizing your life, and in order to do this, you need to set up in a good position. When roaming, you need to choose a position that you can fall back from no matter what. It doesn't matter if you use a hatch, rotation, or literally anything in order to get away. As long as you have a method of escape, then you should be good. Because if you can't fall back from a position, then more often than not, you will die without getting a kill. And if you're getting pushed by three people while being droned out by two, how can you expect to win a gunfight? So just destroy drone, fall back, and keep your life. If you can return to site while destroying drones and wasting 60 to 90 seconds, then you've done a good job as a roamer. This last tip is for attacking, and it is to drone out the defender's utility. What most people do when they encounter something such as a shield is they just throw a flash and then they use explosives. While this is quick and it does work, it is clearly a waste of utility. You should always check if there's an ADS or WMI disc with your drone. It doesn't take long and it will make you save a lot of utility that you can use on anything else. This is especially useful when you aren't sure where to throw your flashes. If you have no idea where the ADSs are, then in some situations you could very well waste your flashes or explosives without clearing any other utility. Now if you want to follow my Twitter, Discord server, or Patreon, a link will be in the description below, but that's all to say for this video, and if you learned something, give the video a like, and if you want to see more content like this and subscribe. Toodles!